Hey guys, so today I have something pretty cool. This is a Intel Solid State Drive 750 Series PCIe SSD, and this is a 1.2 terabyte PCIe SSD. Um, this thing is really cool, and I want to test it, and so that's what we're going to be doing today. I just got this a little while ago, um, and I'm really excited. I haven't actually tested it yet, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, but let me just explain a little bit about it first. So, this is a PCIe SSD. So most hard drives and regular SSDs connect over SATA, which is serial ATA, and that's the way that hard drives have been connecting for years. Um, but if you look at how a graphics card connects, a graphics cards connect over PCIe, which uh, is more of a direct connection to the processor, and it doesn't have to go through the SATA bus before it gets to the processor. And so when you go through SATA, you're losing a lot of speed, um, and so that's why if you go through PCIe, you're not limiting yourself to the, uh, the speed of the SATA bus. And so going through PCIe, you can achieve speeds of like 2.5 gigabytes per second on a drive like this, which is ridiculous. Um, SATA is limited to somewhere around 500 megabytes per second, so it's a lot slower over SATA. Another thing that's cool about this drive is this is an NVMe drive, and that stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express, which is basically, it sounds complicated, but it's basically a different way of interfacing a hard drive. So most hard drives have used ACHI or AC, I'll put it right here, I, sorry if I'm forgetting the acronym. Basically it was, it was an interface designed to work with mechanical hard drives with a spinning disk, and so it was optimized for lower latency movement. Um, Fast as Possible has a really good episode on it, I'll also put that in the description if you guys want to know more about it. Basically, it's a different way of interfacing a drive that's made more for SSDs and flash storage, and the characteristics that go along with solid state storage versus mechanical storage. And so the combination of being PCIe and having NVMe, uh, along with really good flash chips from Intel and a good controller, makes it a really fast drive. Um, and it's high volume. So. I'm excited to test this thing. I'm going to try video editing off of it. Um, the only thing is right now my motherboard is ITX and it only has one uh, PCIe slot. And so that means I can't use my 980 when I'm testing this. So the next upgrade I want to do to my computer is get a new case and then go to ATX. So I can run in the future maybe dual graphics cards. I'll be able to run a graphics card and a PCIe SSD. Um, in the future. So that's going to be my next computer upgrade, but for now, because I have this thing and I want to test it, we're just going to be taking the 980i and using the integrated graphics on the i5. Um, we're not going to be doing any graphics benchmarking at all, so it doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect our performance. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Now one interesting thing I'd like to point out about this card before I put it in there is it has flash chips on both sides of the PCB and they run all the way down. Like they're they're so densely, they go all the way to the edge on this side. They're very densely packed in there. So it's a very high density thing. Now Toshiba has a uh, M.2 size card that is a similar capacity, which is incredible. I mean, they can make it even smaller than this, but it's incredible that they can fit 1.2 terabytes on something this size with this much speed. And I know they can go even smaller, but I just thought it was interesting that they put it on both sides of the PCB. Now we're going to test to make sure that the uh, the BIOS is even detecting the hard drive, so we're going to boot um, and hit delete to get in the BIOS. I don't think I've ever used the integrated graphics on this computer before, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, 
hardware monitor. Or no wait, boot, boot option. So I'm having a bit of an issue and I can't figure out what is causing it. So I took out my graphics card and I put in the 750 series SSD and the motherboard is not detecting the, the SSD at all. And then I was like, okay, well maybe maybe something happened to the PCIe slot. Put my graphics card back in there, the graphics card works perfectly. So I cannot get the computer to identify the SSD. I, I don't know, I can't figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on. Hopefully I can get this working. All right, so you know how I said I wasn't able to figure out why it wasn't working? Well, I don't know what I did. But it's working now, so I have the SSD. Oh, it's kind of dark, sorry. But I have the SSD in here, so I have to install the uh, proper drivers for it and everything, and I'm gonna allocate it in here in a minute. But at least it works, I'm happy about that. Um, unfortunately, my, nine, my 980 has to sit over here all by itself. Um, until I get a new motherboard, I'm either gonna be using the 980 or the SSD. And to me, the, I need the 980 more since I already have enough storage. Um, so this guy is going to be staying in there and I will have the 750 series off to the side safely held until I am ready to install it and I have the new motherboard. Um, but we're going to test it and get this figured out. Okay, look at these numbers. I just ran Crystal Disk Mark. That number on the top there, that's 2.6 gigabytes per second. Of read and 1.3 gigabytes per second of write. That tells you that this would definitely be bottlenecked by a SATA interface. So that's what PCI Express NVMe gets you. That's incredible. So I installed a Kerbal Space Program on the SSD and our launch times went from 1 minute and 55 seconds to launch into the game to 1 minute and 6 seconds. So that took almost 50 seconds off the launch time of the game, which is, that's quite a bit. I mean, that, that's a significant improvement. Um, I know this video is kind of short, I just ran Crystal Disk Mark and installed the game. I'm hoping to do more tests with the SSD once I get a full size motherboard and I can run my graphics card with it. Um, I'm going to be editing off of it also. so. It's a lot faster also, I was trying editing off this a little bit already. Loading in clips in Premiere takes a while off mechanical hard drive. It's so snappy off this thing. Um, so I'm looking to do more with this SSD once I get a motherboard that can handle my SSD and my uh, 980, which I have right here, which I'm gonna put back in there shortly. So I'll be putting this guy back inside of my computer um, for now until I get a bigger motherboard. Um, but let me know if you like this video. I know it's shorter than normal. I know it's not like a super in-depth video. But I figured it's been two weeks, it's better to get something out to you guys than nothing at all. And I figured, you know, you'd like something. Uh, so, I tried. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, bye.